Learning trajectories are a three-part thing. They include a goal, a developmental sequence through which kids learn certain topics, and activities that are matched to each of those levels. So let's go through each of those. For instance, um, in a learning trajectory for addition and subtraction, your goal would be for kids to understand how to add and subtract, of course. Um, the developmental sequence would take you through levels of thinking, early levels, for instance, in which kids could use blocks uh, to be able to combine sets and then count them all to be able to understand how many there are in all. Where, and then very much later levels where, of course, they can just say, oh, 5 plus 6 is 11 because 5 and 5 is 10. I know that, and 1 more is 11. So they learn more sophisticated counting strategies to the point where they can add double and triple digit numbers. So those are the levels. There's a progression of levels through which n kids naturally follow. Research has identified specific paths or trajectories that kids follow when they're learning those topics. And uh, that's the developmental progression piece of a learning trajectory. So the last piece, and this is what makes it particularly interesting, takes it beyond developmental psychology and into the realm of teaching and education, is that we now know that there are effective activities for every level of thinking to help kids move from this level to the next level in their development of these topics. So learning trajectories include a mathematical goal, a developmental progression of levels of thinking through which kids naturally progress, and activities that are specifically designed to enhance kids' movement from one level to the next.